What is up, you guys? Welcome back to HT Muscles YouTube series Olympia Prep. We are three weeks out from the Olympia. Super excited because time is just flying by. And we're here at Dragon's Lair. We're gonna get in a shoulder workout. But first, you guys know the drill. My favorites. We're gonna do the Pre-HD Elite. This is the pink lemonade flavor. So this one is a non-stim formula, no caffeine. It's just pumps and focus. And personally, I really like to stack it with the Pre-HD Black. And if you guys know me, you know, like, lychee. No comparison in the flavors. Lychee is so, so, so good. If you guys haven't tried it, you can use code Jandori on hdmuscle.com and .ca and you will not regret this one. So the two of these stack together, best combination of the pumps and the focus from this one and the energy and the strength from this one. So it's kind of just the best of both worlds. It really packs a punch for training and I'm just gonna take all the help that I can get for now because Energy's a little bit low, but we're just running on adrenaline and excitement. So yeah, three weeks out, feeling good. Um, I'm excited about where I'm at. I feel like my body's been really responding fast now. So it's just kind of cruising into the show. The plan is to be ready right on time, not too early like last year and not be too lean. So it's kind of just that balancing act of keeping that fullness while making sure that we're coming in conditioned enough. So just trying to take, the, take my brain out of it, just, lock my brain up in a locker for the next couple weeks and then let my body do the work and yeah until the until the the job's done we don't think about it so we just every day do the work one day at a time and that's it so another thing is with the pre-workout usually i like to do like half a shaker cup or just under half a shaker cup of water just because the more hydrated you are with the pre-workout the better pump you're gonna have your body's gonna be more hydrated you can also add pink salt grinds into your pre-workout. I just did it before I came um, in my pre-workout meal. I do a little bit of extra salts, but that'll help you to get a better pump going as well. But highly recommend with this pre-workout especially, make sure you use enough water. Don't dry scoop it. I think we the serving size we actually changed with the new labels. A moment for the new labels because the new labels are so pretty. They're so modern, they're so cute. The serving size is actually gonna be half a scoop and that's gonna have four grams of citrulline, which is gonna give us a wicked pump. So I'm gonna do like three quarters, kind of, because we're doing shoulders. So we wanna get an extra good pump going today. And one scoop of this one. The mixture for today, honestly, I've been doing this combo for like a year and it's the best. And tastes so good too. So we're gonna start with, I always like to start with something to warm up my shoulders, get a little bit of a pump going. So we're gonna do around the world with dumbbells, two to three sets of these just to get some blood flow and get my shoulders pumped up to start. started got some pre HD flowing <laughs> so right now training split six days a week I have one day off completely um, full rest day from cardio and training so cardio and training six times a week I do lower body three times a week I have a glute hamstring day I have a glute quad day and then just a specific glute focus day kind of more of like touch-up work shoulders is twice a week and then back is once a week and then I try and throw in abs. Honestly, on all my upper body days, I usually just do like a couple sets of abs, so we're gonna get into that after. And where is the bench for abs? Am I blind? Oh no, it's over there. <laughs> usually I just do the um, decline bench leg raises and then like a sit up or a half crunch on like a bozo ball just to stimulate my core. We're not trying to grow any blocky muscles or anything, so body weight exercises, and that's pretty much it. Done. <laughs> 
we're just getting started. Okay, we're gonna do some abs. Usually I like to start with them, but I just wanted to get my shoulders and joints warmed up, so we need some abs. My favorites, and honestly, pretty much the only ab exercise that I do. So we're gonna do three sets here, anywhere from like 12 to 15 reps, and just focus on controlled contractions and just getting my core stimulated enough that we can keep things nice and tight. It's a love-hate relationship with these. I, I despise training abs, but it's worth it. <laughs> never train abs because obviously for bikini we don't really need or want blocky abs but it really makes a huge difference in your physique just looking more complete with your midsection so last year I started training them three four times a week and we're just gonna follow suit with that this year so forcing myself to do it and if I do it at the beginning it's the easiest way to just knock it out I'm gonna do those and then some sit-ups here like it was like this much of a movement and it was but that's for me is the best just the way to target my upper abs sometimes I'll do it on like the half bozo ball and just let your back fall into the arch and just come until your body is a straight line just like this and you're really just curling your upper abs in so it's a really small movement and it just takes everything else out of it but it's, it's a really good way to focus on isolation of your abs so that swing that I just feel targets my core really well and the mind-muscle connection for me is better than like this sit-up sometimes so play around with it see what works best for you let's get into the actual workout now <laughs> okay so for this one we're gonna do a superset one of my favorites I learned from a good friend of mine trainer Eric he's somewhere over here he's actually right there so <laughs> Um, I call this the, the brochure superset. So we're gonna do a incline lateral raise. So we're leaning into the bench and then we're gonna superset it with another type of lateral raise, except this time we're gonna lean into it and I'm gonna be throwing my arm out, almost like I'm like throwing it outwards. So I'm not trying to bring my arm up, I'm trying to throw it out. You guys will see as I do it here. So this portion of the movement is very slow and controlled. And then the next portion is gonna be more of a power.
gives you the best pump. It's just a very controlled exercise. The first one is just a lot of mind muscle control because you want to stay within that rep range that you don't want to go down too low to give yourself a break. You also want to go up too high to take the tension off. So it's just staying in like that middle range of the rep and it burns. And then these ones, your shoulder's already tired and like just throwing it out like with power. The focus is just like, if you watch my shoulder, I'm really like contracting, squeezing, and then letting it go. And it's really hard, but it's great. What do you think? Yeah, I feel like these are two exercises that Jennifer really enjoys. And uh, she, she feels You're a so lot of- serious th calling me Jennifer. What? You're so serious calling me Jennifer. I'm sorry, Jen. He never, he literally never calls me Jen. Because he goes, that's not your name. Right? She really enjoys these two movements, and I feel she gets a lot of stimulus in it. Nice pump. I can see like a lot of contraction with the fibers and stuff, so it's one of those exercises that works well for her. And next up, we're gonna do a shoulder press movement while I still have some gas in the tank. Not much, but there's a little bit of gas in the tank. Um, and we're gonna do it on, it's actually one of my favorite ways to do a shoulder press, is on the arsenal, the standing, the Viking press. And I love how you can rotate the grip and adjust the height too. So we're gonna do that one. And then we're gonna do some rear delts and some front delts. And that'll be pretty much it for the workout because your girl's gotta go eat. For the record, that is not like a good tempo to train at. It's not like I was doing that for an actual set. That was just like a burnout at the end, so that's why we were going fast. But I wouldn't recommend to go that fast for your sets. Um, focus on slowing down the tempo. Like you saw, we were doing explode up, three, two, one, at least like three seconds negative. Sometimes you can even go longer. Um, I actually did something last week when I was training this one where we did 10 second negatives and it was brutal, like brutal. <laughs> But it was really good. The, the longer you're negative, the more time under tension, the more fibers you're going to be able to recruit, and the better of a pump, the better of a workout. So choose time under tension and slower negatives over just rushing through your reps. Like make every rep a perfect set, and that's how you'll have good shoulders. <laughs> That's probably my my number one for like a rear delt exercise. For me personally, I can just connect to my rear delts really well with that. And I just focus on, like you guys saw, like I do like a three, four second hold because it takes me a second to contract. So when I'm here, I'm keeping my elbows up and pulling out like this here. So I can really feel like my rear delt here tighten. So I'm trying to like really like squeeze, hold it for a second and then relax it and keep pulling back. So. This and reverse pack deck are my top two for rear delts. Um, but I think I just have a good rear delt connection anyways. So I like to pick something that's effective. We were gonna do like um, a rear delt dumbbell fly, but I feel like I get more out of these, so.
alternate. Shoulder day one of the week, so I gotta save a little bit in the tank for the next shoulder day of this week. Friday shoulder day. But yeah, these ones we're doing alternating grip, so I'm doing palms down and then palms in, just so we can get a little bit of a different grip going, hit some different muscle fibers from different angles. And again, with those ones, same things. So I'm not trying to come like up because when you come up, it's all traps. I'm trying to think of like throwing it forward. It's so almost like I'm like throwing it to someone in front of me, if that helps. That is a wrap for today's shoulder workout with a little bit of abs mixed in and we are gonna go eat and that's pretty much it. I have another cardio session tonight because we are in grind time, grind mode these next three weeks trying to just bring that conditioning in exactly where we want it. We're about three pounds away from where I want to be on stage day so the goal is just keep bringing it down one pound every week and we'll be ready right on time. So we will see. I'm excited. I will keep you guys posted and I will see you guys in the next video. Lots of love.